how I know that is there's a bigger table than what you've got, and actually there are rules that I've mm -hmm. learned and memorized. Barium sulfate. We looked that up on the table. It's a solid. And then this is an aqueous. All nitrates are aqueous. So yeah, so there we go. All That's right. it. So the reaction will occur. Now we need to figure out about balancing the equation. Okay. The most complex one, maybe the nickel nitrate. Yeah. So if I put a one there, then there's two nitrates, and mm -hmm. up there's two nitrates here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay, I got one nickel, and I got one nickel. Yep. I got one barium, and hey. Hey, look at that. It works. Grand. I think we're good. So Kay. that is our that overall is our, reaction. Right. So I'm going to actually recopy that at the top here. Kay. All right. I'm going to write B A. N O three. You know, I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it under here. All right. So this is our reaction. Now, when I do the ionic reaction. You must write everything as an ion except solids. Yes. If it's AQ, you split it up. Then you split it up. And if it's a solid or a you, liquid, you leave it together. Then you leave it together. So here I have barium nitrate, and it says mm -hmm. AQ here, so I need to split it up yep. into its Now, when ions. you do these guys, start as far to the left as you can because it's going to take up quite a bit of space. No, I'm going to start way over here. Now, what I actually do is I like to look at my charge right. box or my, ch mm -hmm. my scratch pad, whatever, and I'm going to write BA plus 2. I'm mm -hmm. actually going to write what's ever in the charge box, yeah. and then I'm going to say AQ. All right. Then I'm going to say NO3, negative 1. AQ. I'm just writing just like a charge box. Now we do have an issue here. Right. Is there's two of these, and so I need to indicate there's two by saying a, a two, two in, front. in front. Do not put the two down here. You no. don't put parentheses. It's a, you you put the two in front because yeah. they have two nitrates. There are two individual nitrates floating around in that solution. That's correct. Just like we saw in the in the video. Okay. Now the nickel sulfate. I'm going to write the nickel just as it appears here. Ni positive two, aqueous. Didn't put parentheses here. All right, plus my sulfate, SO4, negative 2, AQ. You might just think, as I have to go like this, I have to split each of these yep. up. So that makes sense. Then I'm going to make an arrow, and I'm going to make, I'm looking now here. That's a solid, so, so it stays that together. That one, I say, stays together, because they actually connect in the solution and make a precipitate. Right. And since this nickel nitrate here is a solution, we're going to split him up into nickels and nitrates. And so I'll say Ni positive 2. Again, that's the same thing as it is over here, aqueous, plus NO3 negative aqueous. There's two of them. And because there's a 2 here, I put a 2 in front here. So this right here is called the ionic equation, or the complete ionic right. equation. Right here. Okay. Now there is one more step. That right. next step is to find the complete nope. or the Annette ionic equation. Right. Now you ever been to like a basketball game, Mr. Sams? Yes. Alright. Now when you were in a basketball game, what was your role? Did you I, play in the team? No, I sat and watched it. Sat and watched the game. So when you sat and watched the game, what were you called? A spectator. You were a spectator at the game. If yes. somebody is involved in the game, they are not a spectator but a participant. Yes. So what we want to do is, it might be this way. If you go to a dance and a couple gets together at the dance, what does everybody talk about the next day? The, the couple. The couple who got together. Not the two couples who didn't get together, right? right. They spectated, they watched. So what really happened is that at this dance, barium met sulfate, and they made barium sulfate. Nickel and nitrate just watched. Right, because there's still nickel and nitrate on the other side of the equation. So they are considered spectators. spectators. So in a net ionic reaction, you need to cancel out the spectators. Yeah. So if you look at 2NO3 here and 2NO3 here, actually, let me change the colors. It might yeah. make it easier. So guys, it's a spectator ion if it is an ion on both sides of the arrow. So, so we have two nitrates on the left and two nitrates on the right, so they go away. We have a nickel on the left, we have a nickel on the right, so they go away. Now, be careful. They have to be exactly the same. Exactly. So they have to be ions on the left and ions on the right. And to write the net ionic reaction, I'll write Ba positive 2. Aqueous. Aqueous, thank you. Plus sulfate, negative 2, aqueous, makes BaSO4. So what really happened at this in this little beaker or at this dance, however you want to do the analogous, is that barium met sulfate and they made barium sulfate. Nickel and nitrate are unimportant because they did not get together. Nope. Okay? All right, let's do another one, Mr. Sanders. Okay, let's do it. All right, here is it. Here it is. Somewhere. Coming.